to first consider what type of mallet we're using. This unwrapped or xylophone mallet tends to have a shorter shaft than some marimba mallets that are wrapped in yarn or cord. Because of that, we can grip these mallets further back than we might on a marimba mallet. On a marimba mallet, you want to probably try and get somewhere right up around here to get the same type of leverage and mobility on the instrument that you're playing. On this shorter mallet, we can grip all the way at the back, wrap all four fingers around, and then bring our thumb and first finger together so our hand forms kind of a diamond shape. Underneath, it looks like this. Now, I tend to think about having the mallet anchored at the back of my hand with these two and also this finger a little bit. It's definitely not a lot of pressure in the front of the hand. There's not a lot in the back either, but that's where it's anchored. And I still maintain constant contact and even pressure with all four fingers, even though this is the concentration. What we want to make sure that we do is we want to make sure that the mallet shaft does not come away from the bottom of the hand like this. When we're playing, we want to keep this anchored and keep it nice and loose up at the front like that. It'll look like this when it's in action. 